Is Israel prepared for a cyber attack? Not enough, according to an online poll. A hacker has published details of thousands of Israeli credit card holders. The published details include credit card numbers, phone numbers, email addresses, along with passwords. Few credit card holders were concerned with this unprecedented cyber attack following assurances from Israeli banks that credit card holders won't be held responsible for any charges made as a result of this hacking. We're not afraid from, from this because it's not the numbers they talk about. It's only 15,000 people. And the company of the credit cards, every dollar they're going to return. It's not a problem. Generally, I only shop from safe sites such as Amazon or uh, other things that are safe. Uh, or clothing websites. I don't really shop at like no-name sites because then it probably will get stolen. I don't buy by internet, so I don't afraid. But despite the easing of concerns by Israeli banks, analysts caution that this cyber attack may have a wider effect and may weaken consumer confidence in e-commerce, even if it is for a short period of time. With 8.5 billion euros worth of sales over the internet in 2011, Israel's e-commerce sector stands to lose the most from this online hacking, according to one analyst. And for Israeli banks, reissuing hundreds of thousands of credit cards is potentially a costly affair. Hacking might weaken consumer confidence in the security of online commerce and therefore could result in a decline in online shopping. When you say this guy has almost half a million of, uh, of these credit cards and he will publish them online, it will, it will affect the trust of those customers in the e-commerce system in general. So they... Eventually, they will stop using their credit cards, and uh, this will affect a lot of Israeli businesses. The identity of the hacker remains unknown. At first, it was thought to be one hacker from Saudi Arabia, but later there was speculation that there's also a hacker from the United Arab Emirates currently enrolled in a university in Mexico. Ibrahim Husseini, Press TV, East Jerusalem, Al-Quds.